Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine 2.3. In this video, I'm going to discuss engine.state, a global variable available within the JavaScript in the chatbook story format. Chatbook is one of a number of different story formats available within Twine 2. To access story formats or to change between them, when in the passages view, go down to the story menu, change story format, and then select the story format to use. In this example, I'll be using chatbook. The current version as of this recording is chatbook 1.0.0. Within chatbook, we have access to something called modifiers. Modifiers do what its name implies. They modify something. The JavaScript modifier allows us to use JavaScript code within passages. It starts from the start of the JavaScript modifier, open and closing square brackets around the word JavaScript, uppercase J, uppercase S, and extends down into it runs into a continued. When it runs into that, with a open and closing square brackets around it, everything in between will be interpreted as JavaScript code within that passage. And it is a modifier because it modifies something. So, we have the word JavaScript in open and closing square brackets. We'll have some JavaScript code, and then we'll have the word continued, or the abbreviated form C-O-N-T, as part of a JavaScript modifier. Within that section, or within the vars section, so the top of any passage using two dashes or two minus signs, we can access one of the global variables available to us within chatbook, which is engine.state. The current state of the story is where all of the current variables, including all lookup variables, variables given to us as part of chatbook, and any variables we define whatever their current values are. So the state of the story is all of its variables, anything Chatbook provides or anything we create, what are their current names, what are their current values, that is the state of the engine. So within this global variable engine.state, there are two key functions we need to be aware of, of this global object. The first of which is set, which takes as an argument the name of the variable and the value of a variable, similar to using a var section. We define its name and we define its value. The other function is get, which set, if it sets a value, get gets that value based on the name of the variable. The two of them, engine.state.set and engine.state.get, allows to manipulate within JavaScript modifiers the current state of the engine. By accessing the name of the variable, we can set its value or get its current value and manipulate the state within JavaScript code, within JavaScript modifiers, within chatbook. Let's look at an example of that. Opening up untitled passage, we see the use right here of engine.state.set. The first argument is the name of the variable in quotations I want to set. The second argument to that function is what value I want to set it to. So we see here engine.state.set, example, value 5. Then we see a link to another passage because the end of that section right here, of which should be modified, is the continued word right here. So this all right here is the JavaScript modifier. Within this is JavaScript code. And within that is a use of the function set as part of the global variable engine.state. So I am, in, I am manipulating the state of the story using JavaScript code within a JavaScript modifier. So if I test this, You'll see over here in the variable section is example and the value five. Because as far as chatbook is aware, it has a story variable, variable that is a variable available within anywhere in the story called example with the value five. As far as it is aware, this is completely true because we have told it engine.state.set. We've set a value of a variable. Notice over here, it didn't show any of that. It just ran through that section of code, JavaScript code, showed us the link to another passage. Within another passage, if I click this, 
we see the value of example is 5, the value of invalid is undefined. Let's go look at that code. So I mentioned engine.state.set to change the value of either creating a variable if it does not exist, or changing existing variable value. Over in another passage, I have engine.state.get, which gets the value of an existing variable. An existing variable is an important part of that phrase. Right here, we see the use of example as a variable within this JavaScript modifier using the function engine.state.get to get the value of a variable. Then we're using the special write function within chatbook to write something. What are we writing? First, the initial string, the value of example is. Then we are concatenating, adding to the value of example, then adding to a little bit of HTML, a break rule right here. So introducing a break rule between one write and another. Because otherwise, the writes will write exactly where we told them to, right into each other. So the first example uses engine.state.get to get the value of a variable. The second example tries to get the value of a variable, but that variable does not exist within this story. In which case it is undefined, which is what we saw in action. The value of invalid is undefined. It does not exist. It does not have a definition. So using engine.state.get, we can attempt to get the value of a variable. If it exists, it will give us that value. If it does not exist, it will give us the value undefined. Notice again, we're in the middle of a JavaScript modifier section, so we can include JavaScript and chatbook will run it. So using engine.state, the global variable, we can access it as part of the JavaScript modifier to run JavaScript code and modify the existing state of a story. The state of a story is all the values of the current variables, their names, and their values, right? All of the variables within that story. If it exists, we can get its value through engine.state.get. If it does not exist or we want to change it, we can use engine.state.set, the name of the variable and the value next to it. Engine.state allows us to manipulate the state, which we can do using JavaScript code within JavaScript modifiers in any passage in chatbook. Thanks for watching.